Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, got a uh, film review. It's a film that's recently come out at the cinema. It's called Godzilla. I went the other night to watch it and I thought I'd give it a quick review as I usually do. Godzilla, obviously you know it's a Japanese sort of stuff. He's, uh, he's been around for many years now. And uh, 2014 they decided to release a film that's kind of rebooted the whole franchise. Now the story starts off with black and white footage of uh, a place in Hiroshima in uh, Japan and they're planning to drop a bomb. And this bomb is uh, really there to what we think is to test a bomb. Simple. Uh, maybe, at this point I was thinking maybe it's there to uh, begin the creation of Godzilla. However, we later find out that that bomb at the start of the film is there to destroy Godzilla. Uh, that's something I didn't really know. Uh, I found out about it at the start of the film. Uh, it's pretty good. Bit clever, you know. Uh, that's kind of how I thought Godzilla was made, how he was created, was the bomb was dropped. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time as a tiny little lizard and nuclear reaction happened and made him massive really. The film then seems to jump uh, a couple of years and it shows who I thought was the main star of the film. Brian Cranston and his wife uh, at a dwelling in uh, Japan. They live there, they are scientists and uh, they're off to work at the nuclear reactor. It shows uh, it's Brian Cranston's birthday. He is famous for his role in uh, Breaking Bad, which I've never seen really, so I can't really comment on that. Um, but the film does jump 15 years into the future. It's pretty much present day. Um, Ford Brody, Aaron Taylor Johnson is a uh, bomb expert really in the army, so he knows what he's doing when it comes to bombs. Uh, he's living in San Francisco in America. And, uh, he gets a call coming back is home in San Francisco from the army on leave and uh, he gets a call to say that his dad was trespassing so he's got to go back to Japan to get his dad out of prison and ever since the accident at the reactor his dad has never been the same Ford Brody has his son has got over the accident of his mum dying however the dad has not he thinks it's an inside job uh, he's there to prove it to um, you know, to make the people pay for his wife's death. But while they're both over in Japan, they do discover that um, all is not what it was seemed. The nuclear reactor um, is actually housing a creature without trying to give away too many spoilers. So there was a big twist, probably half an hour into the film. Um, I mean, there was a twist right at the start, really, with uh, the fact of Godzilla was dropped a bomb on. Uh, to try and destroy it, not to what I thought was create Godzilla. There's a bit of action. Godzilla don't turn up for probably 40 minutes into the film. There's a massive fight towards the end of the film, and uh, it's quite dark, it's done at night. It's a bit annoying because you want to see the action, you want to see the fight, and half the time you only see silhouettes of Godzilla and the creatures that he's fighting. Godzilla doesn't look too bad. You know, I heard rumours that people don't like him because he looks fat. He's a giant friggin' monster and he's dubbed as being fat. Does my tail look big in this? You know, am I fat? Who cares? You can't really depict Godzilla because it's 2014, he's been brought into the future, um, you know, and people are calling him fat. Get over it, he's a monster, 
he's massive, he's the size of a small town, and you're saying he's fat. A bit silly. Um, I think when they do make the sequel, I think that they should have it, though Godzilla fights in daylight. Let's see more of him, uh, more action. I mean, it was good that you dis you saw him destroy buildings. He literally brought down hundreds of buildings, caused billions of dollars of damage, which was good to see. You know, he's a big monster. You don't want him, you know, pussyfooting around. But yeah. it's good that they destroyed buildings. That's good. Um, the ending is pretty random. Uh, I don't want to really, really give it away. But it's a very random ending how uh, it leads it open for a sequel. Uh, I can't wait for the sequel to be honest. One other thing that annoyed me was, I mean it's not a spoiler, but Godzilla is travelling from Japan. He's going to San Francisco so he can smell out the enemy. He knows where he is, you know, and he's, he's tracking the enemy, which is good. However, one thing that was a bit surprising was that you'd have the US Navy going alongside Godzilla to San Francisco from Japan, they'd be travelling alongside him, they could see him just out of the water, but then as soon as Godzilla gets out of the water they start shooting at him. And it's like, Godzilla's on your side you dick, why are you shooting at him? And you were following him from Japan to San Francisco, and you could see him and only now you start shooting at him. What's that all about? But uh, yeah, the story's not too bad, there is a couple of twists along the way. Uh, Godzilla was pretty impressed with him, um, people did say he was fat but he's a frigging great monster. The enemies I think they could have brought one back from the original set of films rather than a strange nuclear eating uh, giant moth cockroach looking thing. Brian Cranston is alright of an actor, um, I've only seen him in Malcolm in the Middle. I'm not a uh, Breaking Bad fan, I don't know what it's all about, it doesn't interest me. Aaron Taylor Johnson, he was alright, I've only seen him little bits in Kick-Ass. Um, he's okay. Uh, Elizabeth Olsen, she did alright, you know, she was a sort of, am I a widow, am I not, running around. Um, typical cliche of being a uh, paramedic in a monster movie. Oh, didn't see that one coming. Yeah, Godzilla, I'm a fan of the creature i'm a fan of the monster uh, i thought i'd give it a go see what it was all about it was worth a watch it was in 3d which was even better um if you're a fan of brian cranston aaron taylor johnson elizabeth olsen and even if you're a fan of godzilla especially uh then yeah go check it out um see what you think of it if you think godzilla's fat then you know fair enough i couldn't care less the guy looked pretty cool um, what I do say in the future is have fights in the daylight, have him fight one of his uh, traditional foes, don't have a complete random ending, and uh, keep having him destroy cities, pretty cool, and uh, don't have the US Navy be a complete bunch of dicks and only shoot him when he's out of the water, even though they were following him for hundreds of miles. But yeah, Godzilla, recommend it if you're a monster fan, uh, pretty worth checking out. Also guys... We either voted, check them out, links are down below as per usual, go check them out. Use TobyWTD, gets you 20% off any We The Devoted items that you decide to buy. Links down below as per usual. But guys, thanks for watching my review of Godzilla, hope you like it, thanks for watching. If you like uh, the monster himself, go and check him out at the cinema. But, thanks for watching guys. It's 8 o'clock. Thank you.